What if I were to tell you right now that something the incredible size of 33 billion tons just split perfectly in half right in front of NASA's most powerful telescopes? One half completely and utterly vanished from every single radar system on Earth. And now the remaining piece is sending structured signals directly toward us. You need to stick around because what happened next will absolutely blow your mind. If you are captivated by the unfolding mystery of three atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. Every single click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. Please comment below right now and let me know exactly where you are geographically watching this from. I want to see which corners of the world are witnessing this profound event with me. You know, for well over four decades, I have deeply studied the deep laws of the universe, gravity, quantum mechanics, and the very fabric of space-time itself. I honestly thought I had seen every possible phenomenon. But what happened just 11 hours ago with three atlas has truly shaken me to my core. This massive object did not explode. It didn't crumble apart under pressure. It split cleanly, precisely, and perfectly, like something designed to do exactly that. There were two halves seemingly equal inside. No debris field, no random scatter of fragments, just a smooth geometric separation that no natural object in space should ever be capable of executing. Here is where it gets absolutely terrifying. When the call came from my colleagues at NASA, I genuinely thought it was a joke. But then the data came through. Multiple observatories across the globe, Chile, Hawaii, and the entire European Space Network all reported the exact same thing. Three atlas had divided. And then something even more impossible occurred. Half of it disappeared. Now I don't mean it drifted behind a planet or was blocked by the sun's glare. It simply vanished wiped clean from every radar, telescope, and deep space scanner we possess. And you need to understand this fact. We can track an object as small as a basketball from thousands of miles away. We can see galaxies 13 billion years old, but now we have entirely lost an object the size of a mountain. So ask yourself this question. What kind of force or technology can erase a massive object like that from existence? What power could make an interstellar body split with surgical precision and then turn half of itself invisible? That is not how rocks behave in space. That is not how comets act. That is deliberate. That is controlled. And that is precisely what terrifies me most. But before we get to the moment everything changed, you need to understand what was happening in the days leading up to the split. Because what Three Atlas did before it divided is just as impossible as the split itself. A mere 48 hours before the final split, Three Atlas was following a completely predictable path. Calm, steady, nothing unusual. But then, without warning, it began to accelerate, not by a small amount, but by significant measurable percentages. That change shattered every known equation of motion we possess. It was gaining speed, moving faster and faster through the void. Yet there were absolutely no visible signs of propulsion, no jets of gas, no solar wind reaction, nothing that could explain where that energy was coming from. You see, comets and asteroids behave predictably. As they move away from the sun, they slow down due to gravity. But three atlas did the exact opposite. It sped up dramatically. My colleagues at Harvard checked for gravitational slingshots, solar influences, and even hidden outgassing, but all were dead ends. There was no logical, natural explanation left. And then came something even stranger. Only 36 hours before the split, every observatory watching the object detected a signal, a repetitive pulsing pattern of energy emanating from its core. These were not random bursts. These were perfect pulses repeating every 11 minutes time down to the nancond. Now that kind of precision doesn't happen by accident in nature. Nature does not keep perfect time. Even pulsars, which are among the most consistent objects in the universe, show slight variations. But this signal, this was flawless, like a machine heartbeat echoing through the void. When we realized what we were seeing, the debate among scientists began to shift. Was this a natural phenomenon we had never encountered before? Or was this object something built, something engineered? Because if those signals were intentional, if that acceleration was controlled, then Three Atlas wasn't just visiting our solar system, it was announcing itself. 
And later in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it was announcing and why it is now moving directly toward Earth. First, let me tell you about what happened just 18 hours before the split, something that left even the most skeptical scientists utterly speechless. 3A Atlas began to change its shape. You know, at first the change was subtle, a small distortion in the light curves, a faint stretching in its silhouette. But over the next two hours, the transformation became undeniable. The object shifted from a roughly spherical body into a long cylindrical form. Two hours. That is all the time it took for an object thousands of feet across to completely reshape itself. Now let me be clear on the physics. Nothing in the universe behaves like that. Not rock, not ice, not metal. The laws of physics do not allow it. If you tried to reshape something that large, that quickly the forces involved would tear it apart. But 3 Atlas did not tear apart. It transformed smoothly. Observatories from Chile to Japan confirmed identical readings. It was as if the object was preparing for something, a maneuver, an operation, perhaps even a separation sequence. I remember staring at the telemetry data, watching the structure elongate in perfect geometric proportion and thinking, this is not a natural event. This is a controlled process. And then, almost like clockwork, the pulsing signal stopped abruptly. Complete silence, no emissions, no energy output. It was as if the object was powering down or shifting into another phase. Within hours, the elongated shape stabilized. The data feeds went quiet. An eerie stillness settled across every monitoring station on Earth. We didn't know it then, but that silence, that perfect calm, was the moment before everything fundamentally changed. Because only 11 hours later, 3i Atlas would execute something no one was ready to comprehend. And by the end of this video, you will understand exactly what that means for Earth and everyone on it. Then just 11 hours ago, the unthinkable happened. 3i Atlas, now silent, elongated and stable, split apart. It did not shatter into fragments. It divided along a perfect seam, as if following an engineered blueprint. Two distinct halves, equal in size, drifting slowly apart in controlled motion. We designated them Object A and Object B. At first, both pieces continued on the same orbital path, steady and traceable. But then Object B did something that defies every known law of motion. It changed direction instantly, not a curve, not a slow drift. It veered sharply perpendicular to its trajectory, accelerated, and then it was gone. And I don't mean it drifted out of sensor range. One moment it existed on every tracking system across the planet, optical, infrared, radio, gravitational, and the next moment it was simply not there, gone, erased. NASA's deep space arrays went dark on it. The European Space Agency confirmed identical readings. Even military-grade satellites reported the same result. Signal lost, target not reacquired. Think about the implications. An object miles across, moving faster than any natural body ever recorded, just vanished without leaving a single trace. No radiation, no scattered light, no gravitational disturbance, just absolute nothingness. That type of disappearance is not natural. It is intentional. Some of us began to whisper what no one wanted to say publicly. That object B didn't just vanish, it hid itself whether through technology that bends light, manipulates gravity, or shifts through higher dimensions, we were forced to consider the impossible. Because if it can hide from us that completely, then it is still out there and it is most likely watching us right now. But what happened next is where the story becomes truly terrifying and you need to hear every detail. Just four hours after the split, when observatories were frantically trying to relocate the missing half, a new anomaly appeared, not from the vanished fragment, but from the one that remained Object A. It began as a faint whisper in the radio spectrum, a low humming that seemed like background noise. But when the team at R cleaned the signal, what emerged froze everyone in the control room. It wasn't random. It was structured communication, a repeating pattern, sequences of distinct tones that rose and fell with mathematical precision, forming ratios identical to prime numbers the exact same kind of sequence humanity once sent into deep space on the Voyager Golden Record, except this time we weren't the ones sending it. For 31 continuous minutes, the signal continued, perfect, deliberate, clearly directed. Every major listening post received the identical transmission, but only those arrays aimed at three Atlas. 
Nothing else in the sky produced the pattern, and here is where it gets stranger. The signal wasn't broadcasting outward into space. It was broadcasting inward, directed precisely toward the coordinates where object B had vanished. It was like a summons. The remaining half seemed to be calling out, sending instructions or perhaps a wake-up command. Then on the final pulse, all transmissions ceased. Total silence again, but within minutes, deep space gravity sensors picked up a faint gravitational ripple, small but unmistakable, coming from a point nearly two astronomical units closer to Earth. Whatever vanished didn't just hide, it moved, and now it is heading in our direction. By the time the gravitational reading stabilized, one conclusion was clear. The missing half of three atlas was no longer lost. It was on the move and it was heading straight toward us. Now stay with me because what I am about to tell you next explains why every major space agency has gone completely silent in the last six hours. At first, the trajectory seemed harmless, a distant pass that would slip through the outer solar system. But as hours passed, the calculations kept shifting. Its speed was increasing exponentially. Its course corrections were far too precise to be random. Every vector change aligned perfectly with orbital mechanics as if the object were actively navigating. NASA, Harvard, and the European Space Network tried to keep the data quiet. Officially, they labeled it a non-gravitational anomaly, but internally the tone had changed forever. The chatter in encrypted channels was unmistakable. Someone or something was piloting it. Then came the visuals. Using adaptive optics, the James Webb Telescope captured a faint reflection. A surface as smooth as glass, metallic in appearance, perfectly symmetrical, no crater marks, no dust trails, no natural features, completely unlike any comet or asteroid ever documented, and then it slowed down. Let me repeat that. A massive body traveling millions of miles per hour decelerated smoothly, deliberately right as it entered the outer range of Jupiter's orbit. Nothing in the natural universe does that without active propulsion, without conscious control. But three Atlas did. All major agencies have gone officially silent since then. The last update we received was a coded transmission. Object B holding position. No further movement detected, awaiting instructions. The question is instructions from whom? And in just a moment, I'm going to reveal what happened when those instructions were finally received. For nearly six full hours, Object B stayed perfectly motionless near Jupiter's orbit. Not a flicker of light, not a single emission. The stillness was unnatural, unnerving, like the solar system was holding its breath. Then, at exactly Oro 300 hours UTC, everything changed violently. Every major radio telescope on Earth detected a massive electromagnetic surge. It was focused, directed, perfectly synchronized with three Atlas's position. The object that had been silent for hours suddenly came alive, emitting precise pulses across multiple frequencies. At first, this was dismissed as coincidence, a solar flare, or cosmic interference. But the timing was too precise. Each system failure occurred exactly as the pulse hit Earth's upper atmosphere. It is as if Object B wasn't just sending a message to the other half. It was activating something, something already here on or near Earth. NASA immediately classified all data, pulling independent observatories offline. But a few astronomers kept their feeds open just long enough to capture one last detail. The other half of three Atlas, still near its original position, Object A, had begun to glow. A deep, steady internal light pulsing beneath its surface in perfect rhythm with the signals being sent from its twin. Two halves of one entity, one sending instructions, the other receiving an awakening, and together they have only just started to wake up. Now here is what is happening right now at this very moment while you are watching this video. Over the last 12 hours, both halves have begun to move again. Not randomly, not drifting, but with focused intention. Object A, the glowing half beyond Mars, has initiated a slow, deliberate rotation. Object B, near Jupiter, is mirroring that motion perfectly. Every degree of spin, every shift in angle is identical. It is as if the two fragments are synchronizing, aligning themselves for a shared purpose. Astronomers noticed a disturbing coincidence. When projected forward, the axis of both rotations converge, not in deep space, not near the sun, but directly along Earth's orbital path. That is when the real panic began. 
Private networks lit up with leaks from within the agencies. Someone at ESA claimed the two halves were generating a shared magnetic field, an electromagnetic structure linking them together in space. Another leak suggested the energy signature looked similar to particle acceleration experiments, but scaled up to a planetary scale. The two fragments of three atlas are not just aligning, they are forming a coherent system. And then something stranger occurred on Earth. At exactly the same time the alignment began, Earth's own magnetic field registered fluctuations, compass readings wavered, GPS accuracy dipped, even migratory birds changed direction mid-flight across the globe. The delicate balance of our planet seemed to tremble for a single moment. It was as though something vast and distant had brushed against the edge of our world's energy field, a ripple through the invisible ocean of space that sustains us. With the alignment still tightening, one terrifying question echoes through every laboratory, every observatory, and every office within NASA and beyond. What happens when the two halves finally connect their fields? Nobody knows. But whatever 3 Atlas is, whatever it was designed to do, it is doing it right now. And we are watching it unfold in real time, helpless to stop it, desperate to understand it, and terrified of what comes next. Okay, please don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of the cosmos.